Okay, you guys, so I'm coming to show you this silver beauty that um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I put some pictures up of her, and the pictures in the beginning are um, just a part of my um, little Halloween look or whatever, because I, I actually bought this wig for my Halloween look. I, I really think she's really, really pretty, but I don't know about, um, you know, just rocking her out. But let me tell you who she is. This is Maylene. Miss Maylene. And I have her in SOM to PKW. And I guess that's like pink white. But this is more silver. If you if you're really looking at it, it's more silver. I mean, I guess in the light it looks more white, but it looks really more silver to me than white. And then like it's silver and then it turns into this like pink. Like a, a you know, a really rose kind of rosish rose pink I guess you, I want to I want to call it and um you know I, I really bought this for my Halloween look because I didn't really want a silver wig because I know I'm never gonna wear a silver wig although I do like the way this looks it's really really pretty but I still feel like I look like somebody's Nana and I don't want anybody to think that I'm any older than I am so I I, I think I will save me rocking full gray or silver until that time comes if it works for you, hey, that's fine, but this is not really my style. Um, she's really cute. Maylene is actually really, really cute. She's kind of thin, but um, as you see over here, um, this is Maylene in purple. And Maylene in purple, which um, I believe is, is S-O-M-2-W-P-U, and it's like a white purple. Reminds me a lot of Mackenzie in OT Lavender. And now Mackenzie in OT Lavender was is is like um a more of a richer purple, whereas this um Maylene here, you see, she is like um a purple with like silver highlights, like white silver highlights. So she tends to be just a little a tad bit lighter than OT Lavender. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to get that color, Mackenzie is kind of pricey in certain and a lot of sites, whereas Maylene is a much cheaper option because um I guess because she's thinner. That's the only thing I can think of because this is all the hair pulled forward. But the way it's curled, it doesn't look that bad to me. This is like if you do in, if you've ever done a sewing and it's in between tracks. That's the fullness of this. This is not a very very full wig, but I still like it. I still like her. Um, you know, it to me it's enough to be wearable. And I believe I paid seventeen bucks for her, so I really won't complain. But this is really a cute style. Um, you know, so I do think I probably will scoop more colors when I get a chance to get some more colors of her so she has a standard wig cut construction she has the two combs and then she has the adjustable strap she is not the biggest cap though so she fits me comfortably it's not tight or snug or anything but it's not a huge cap so just do keep that in mind and it's not lace parted it is lace to here and then this is skin top and I did put some powder um, in the part in the, at the top because to here it is a lace parting so I put some powder here and then I put a little bit of powder over the skin top to not to make it not quite so nude I probably will take my little eyebrow razor and widen this part just a wee bit because it is a little tiny but the parting's not bad otherwise if that doesn't bother you um you know most of, n normally it doesn't but you know I might just widen it I might I might so the colors of this is is pretty cute. I like the parting. It's a very comfortable wig. And like I said, if you see me over here with Miss Maylene, it is very similar to to Mackenzie. If you were looking for that color, now they have a lot of colors, but the the you know purple is as 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 um, you know fluorescent as they go in that. They don't really have like the blues and the and the turquoises and and all the other colors that that Mackenzie does have. But if you were looking for that purple that Maylene is a pretty, pretty comparable wig. So I don't know what else to say about this hair, but um, as cute as she is, I do not think that this is something I would feel comfortable walking around the street. And I don't know. I just feel like it, I don't know. I don't know. It's cute though. I do like her. Um, and I, you know, I, I wanted to try this wig after watching Sacred Goddess's review on it, but one of the things that she pointed out that I'm going to point out to you guys too, is that her rooting is a little cheesy. Because if your hair shifts, you see how it's not rooted all the way through? It's like just a layer of dark root and then the rest of that is not. So Sharpie is your best friend to, to fix that or mascara 
or you know the spray hair whatever you use that's an easy fix but I'm just pointing that out so that people don't come back mad at me because you know when I do reviews people come back mad at me like I made the wig I didn't make the wig y'all I'm just telling y'all how I feel about her so I ain't gonna make this too long um here's the purple here's the gray I'll see you guys next time